Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to talk about our plugin GIF Booking and Appointment and in particular we're going to learn how to enable and configure the services module. But before we start, please make sure you hit the like button below this video, subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Now let's start! Okay guys, as we mentioned, today we're going to learn how to enable and set up the services module. So, first of all, we need to come here to the add-ons tab, modules, and enable the one we require. In this case, it will be this one, services. Once enabled, we will find a new services sub-tab inside the configuration tab. Here, we will have on the left these fields to add our services, so let's review them. First, the only required field we need to add a new service would be a name. However, we can complete all of the additional fields to include more information regarding the service. For example, besides the name, we can also enter a slot, decide whether or not to have a parent booking service, optionally enter a description, and over here we can also set a price and choose how to manage the service. Let's see, we can set it as optional, so let the customers choose whether to add it or not. We can hide the service to customers, multiply the cost by units selected, multiply cost by people, and finally show a quantity selector. Additionally, if we have enabled also the people module and we choose to multiply the cost by people, we're going to find here all of our people types and we can set a different price for each one of them. And if we choose to show a quantity selector, we can then set the minimum and maximum quantity. Well, now that we have reviewed the fields available, let's create an example. Let's say we have a hostel and we want to include a mandatory service to add breakfast for an additional fee of $5 per person. In this case, we're going to enter the name, breakfast, then we don't need to complete any of these fields, but we do want to set the price. As we mentioned, we're going to charge $5 per person for the breakfast and over here I do want to leave the multiply cost by people option but I am going to remove the show quantity selector. Now let's click over here to add our new booking service. Once it has been added we're going to find it over here on the right on this table. Next after creating the different services we can configure them for every bookable product and they will be visible inside the product's booking form. We can go over to our front end so we can see how it looks. So, if you have configured a service for a specific bookable product, as we have done in this case with our breakfast service for this Amsterdam room, then users will be able to find the details of the services over here inside the booking form. In this case, we can find our breakfast listed over here as included services, and this is because we did not set it as optional, so this means that the service will be included by default. Also, as we selected the option to multiply the cost by the number of people, if we set this booking, let's say, for a night, so we can set the checkout for tomorrow, and over here for the people, we're going to set it to, let's say, to students. Perfect. We can close it, and we're going to find here that the total for the services will be $10 instead of 5. This is precisely because we configure it to be multiplied by the total number of people. Now, you can also check out our tutorial how to create a bookable product so you can have a complete view of the options available when configuring a bookable product. And for this, you can find a link to the video below in the description. Well guys, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye bye!